We just got done with the Halloween Horror Night panel for 2024. We're gonna do an interview with John Murdy here at Midsummer Scream. It's been really hard to try to figure out what questions to ask, but I think we've come, come up with two good ones. So let's see how this goes. He's escaped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Damn. Thank you, John. Incredible panel today. Thank you. Uh, Honestly, that panel, we were, I'm blown away. I, the question I have to ask... Every year it gets long, like this number of slides. It used to be under 100. This was 144. It was worth every And I'm minute. like, I gotta do that in an hour. You know, but somehow we find a way to do it. Yeah, it, I was blown away. Blown away. Cool. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think everybody in the crowd left with a holy smokes. Like, it was, it was, I was just blown away. Well, we um, needed to focus on Texas, I thought, because... You know, this is the seventh time we featured Texas Chainsaw Massacre at our event, um, but this is all new, it's all different, and so that's what I really wanted to talk to everybody about in the horror community, it was like, hey, check this out. We're taking a multiverse approach to this. We're doing a, a story you never got to see in the original film, but is referenced throughout the film. Yeah. They, they talk about the slaughterhouse and the grandpa used to work there. So let's do it so that the story is going parallel to the 74 film, but it's in the location you never got to see. And then it just dovetails back into the original, which I thought would be, Incredible. I've never seen that done before. So that'd be cool. You made something that's returning, but it's brand new. Yeah. It's, I love it. It is such a, I mean, you know, from the very beginning, the first time we went to licensed properties, you know, where, where did I go? Leatherface. <laughs> like right out of the gate, the first time, the first meeting I ever had yeah. was to, to get Leatherface to be part of the event because that's just, it's made for it. I want to ask, uh, the what has been announced? What has been the funnest or just the one that you embrace the most creativity wise? <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like, the monstrous houses, which I guess we'll call them houses now because this is the second Second, one. You know, actually, when I came up with the idea working with my team for monstrous last year, I said to to Chris Williams, my partner on all this, I said, here's the idea. This is gonna be more than one. If it works, if you guys embrace (laughs) it. If it doesn't, no one will ever know that. (laughs) But I already had that idea that we would do this sequel back then I just had to wait to see how the fans received it, and luckily the fans loved it. Mm-hmm. So it opened the door to okay, now here's the next iteration. But and you'll see when the construction wall goes down because right <laughs> now it, it's still it, up. That's awesome. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. The way I described it to Chris was, don't just do the same facade again. You know, I want to do something new. So it's like you picked up the camera and focused on a different part of the graveyard. Still the same graveyard, you're just panning the camera to a different section. Hmm. So it's okay, it's yeah. a whole different, we'll see when, you'll see yeah. when it comes down. Pretty cool. Uh, last question, uh, any RIP exclusive that you could talk about? We haven't announced it, so yeah. I can't, but I did just work on, coming. there will be exclusive stuff for RIP that I nice. worked right. on designing for that specific, specifically. So cool. yes. Well, thank you for your time. My I pleasure. I appreciate everything you do. Thank appreciate you. It. Thank you much. Thanks for <laughs> thank supporting you, the event. We appreciate it. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks.